Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I just finished this book, which was inspired by Wendy's journal adventure. I just finished this yesterday. Here's the back. Let me take that tie off so you can see it. And I found this, it was a um, bedspread at the thrift store little pocket here with ticking fabric and there's the spine there's two signatures and then the front I did a lot of embroidery stitching on it so and there's some um, fab or I'm sorry machine stitching as well but I constructed it similar to um, a um, strip you know the way you sew over when you make snippets so that's what I did. I kind of did some machine stitching over it, each applique that I added. So there are two signatures. This is antique, or I should say vintage. I don't know how old it is, but it's a vintage um, doily, and this is the inner part of the vintage doily, and you'll see that a little bit more later. I think there are 80 pages to this, and it's about 9 by 5. So let's look at it here. So this is the front pocket. It's a three-tiered pocket. So you can kind of tell here. And that's part of my snippet roll that I showed on another video. And so this is the first signature, and I did just a little bit of decoupaging here. This is a Tim Holtz tissue paper, and then that's my um, aged scotch tape. I just used the, I think it's called butterscotch um, inks. You know, the little alcohol inks you get. Okay, and there's a CD case here, and it's a flip. Little pocket here, and just a little tag for journaling. And I've had this paper in my stash for I don't know how long, so I apologize, but I don't know what pack this is from. And then this is just your tag for in this. And this is, I think this is Heidi Swap, or it's photo, not photo, but um, paper something. Sorry, I've had this in my stash for about eh, two months, but it's not it looks real but really it's made from some kind of a like a fabricy material okay so on to this page this is a tim holtz let me do this this is a tim holtz i think from field notes one of his ephemera packs and this is his fabric tape that's like washi but it's actually fabric and unlike washi it really is sticky so you don't have to add glue to that and then this is a jeweler's envelope that was a tutorial that Wendy's um, Journal Adventure did. I just followed that using one page of um, coffee stain papers. And then I just printed this pattern. I don't know. <clears throat> Pardon me. I don't know who I got this from. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then these are Tim Holtz as well. And this is a double pocket. Aren't these cute? And I'll put a link to her tutorial. It was really easy and it was a lot of fun to do. <clears throat> Sorry again. Okay, this is just a little folded tag for journaling. And this is, I know I say Hollows Paper Craft all the time, but it's a local paper store that has everything. And this is hand dyed ribbon that I got there. And it's just like a little belly band. But because this ribbon is so delicate, I didn't trust, you know, trust having something in it without a little paper clip because it's so delicate. And this is a page from a book, um, 1920, 1919 maybe. And it's really, this is just a Tim Holtz embellishment. And then I, um, backed it with um, fabric because it's so brittle, but it's on entomology maybe. It's very cool paper. So I put a page in each um, signature. Tim Holtz, and there's some leaf ribbon I really love. 
I use that a lot. And here's, I don't know where I got this, maybe Artie Mays. And this is Tim Holtz wallpaper. And there's a flip here and it goes in a little matching tuck spot, Tim Holtz. No, this is um, Tracy Fox, I'm sorry. I just got this on the internet. And this is, um, and this one, are tags that I made on another video that I did. That's also from Tim Holtz. As you can see, I love Tim Holtz. I have a lot of Tim Holtz supplies in my stash. And that's, I don't know who I got that one from. And that's from that same Field Notes. And this is a little specimen plate I did with some, um, I think it's a violet that I, pr I pressed some flowers last summer. And this is another piece of that hand dyed ribbon. This is avocado dyed paper. And that's also a little decoupage piece I did um, from Tim Holtz tissue paper. And that's the other side of that page. And then, isn't this cute? This is, um, I got this inspiration from, or this idea from Wendy's Journal Adventure. And she calls it the Flower Garden. And I thought it was such a cute idea that I just went ahead and did that on this page. Also from Field Notes. Okay, and that's just some washi I had in my stash, and that I think is Tracy Fox, and that's part of my snippet roll. And this is Tracy Fox and Artie Mays, I think, all of this on this page. And there's another one of my tags I made in a little envelope. And there's some goodies in there to further embellish the book. This is the new Tim Holtz um, scrap pieces where he has uh, machine sewing on them. And of course I've done some machine sewing. I haven't done any hand sewing in this book at all. And this is really pretty. I printed this on coffee stain paper and it came out really pretty. I love how that printed out. It just looks really ancient, old, antique -y. And just some, uh, just a lace belly band, mm -hmm. little butterfly clip. And this is from a Tim Holtz paper pad, and another part of my snippet roll, and just some little cute little embellishments. And here's that center of the doily. I thought that looked so pretty. And the uh, Tracy and um, Artie Mays, and these are I just printed on regular printer paper and then I backed it with coffee stain paper so it was more substantial. There's another one of those pages and that's a Tim Holtz. That's one of his new prints. He came out with two, uh, I think they're six by six paper packs and I got both of those. And this is a little metal embellishment. I don't even know where that came from. Not sure where I got those. I fussy cut that out. That's also Tim Holtz. The other side of that paper. And this is just the last page of the signature. Okay, so here's the second signature, and this is also Tim Holtz tissue paper. And that's an older Tim Holtz, I think six by six, but I'm, as you can see, I'm a huge fan of Tim Holtz. And I think this is a Tracy Fox Artie Mays um, envelope. It might be Victoria Designs. I'm sorry, I've had it forever, and I had printed it out quite a while ago, and I came across them, and I thought, I'm going to use those in this book. Another piece from that Tim Holtz uh, paper pack. And this is another one of those I just backed with uh, coffee stain paper. This is the second jeweler's pocket or I think she calls them jewelers envelopes from Wendy and this little glycine bag was also a Wendy's idea. I, I love Wendy's ideas. She's always coming up with something new and this one's just a single pouch or I'm sorry pocket. Okay. I love these though. And some more of that ribbon. 
And I really like leaving a lot of open page pages for journaling because that's what these are for, journaling. So uh, as much as I love decorating the pages, I like to leave a lot of journal space. And I thought that was cute. Put those in flight. And part of my snippet. And there's the other half of the center of that doily. And I just kind of grunged it up with some vintage photo. Okay. Whoops. And these are, I don't remember what kit, but this is also Artie Mays and Tracy Fox. And I have three nice tags. And then uh, this is just a fold out. And I'm not sure where I got this. I'm sorry. Again, this I already had printed out in my stash, and it just lent itself so well with this book. I thought, I, I, there's the place for it. I'm going to add that. So I did. And that's a B from the Tim Holtz Field Notes. And this I had in my stash as well. There's a little, that's also from the Field Notes, as well as this is from Tim Holtz. And it, so is that. And another one of those pocket sets from Artie and Tracy. Oops. And two more of those field notes embellishments. I love that set. And I really like the way these darker pages came out. And how I achieved this is when I was dyeing the paper, instead of dipping each in individual paper, I put um, my coffee stain, I'm sorry, my coffee mix, and then I added tea bags to it in a in sort of a big pan, like a restaurant pan. And then I laid each paper individually down to make sure it was completely covered, but I layered it. So there were probably 25 papers on top of each other stacked up. And then I let it sit for about an hour, and then I pulled them out and let them drain. And then I dried them, but I rotated them so they didn't stick together. And that's how I achieved this really dark, really stained beautiful. I just, I really like that. And that's the second uh, specimen plate. And this, I'm not a big fan of bugs, but this was a cute bug in that Fields Notes kit. So I used it there. I thought it was cute crawling toward the flower. And another lace belly band. And this is also Tracy and Artie, and I just lined it with, this is on heavier paper, and then I lined it with the coffee dyed paper. Let's do it this way. And this is the avocado paper. Cute little mushroom and butterfly there. Butterfly bird's nest. I thought these are really cute, and I don't remember where I got those. I've had those printed out um, forever in my stash. And this is a Tim Holtz paper tag, and this was a tag that I made in that video of mine. And this was, this is a tuck, this was in one of the Tim Holtz, I'm, I think it was Field, no, Field Notes as well, I'm not sure. And that's just a Tim Holtz um, paper pack. That's also from the um, field notes, another one of those cute little envelopes, and all the envelopes have something in them. Okay. And isn't that one pretty? And it's coffee dyed, coffee stain paper backed. And that old, um, I'll put down in the comments the year of this book. I don't remember right now. And oh, that's another one of those tags. And that's the last signature back. And there's my card, three-tiered pocket page again, and pretty much the same kind of things. I just added that color of a tag, but the same thing. And again, to the back. And I am going to be putting this on my Etsy store probably today. Um, this is, I think, the first time I've added anything to my Etsy store in two years, maybe three. I just don't do well on Etsy. I you know, not very, for whatever reason, I'm not very searchable on Etsy. So 
I'm going to go ahead and close on this one, and, but I am going to make another video um, again immediately following this that has to do with my bead book. So that's coming up on the next video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.